Hey, this is Wes McDermott. I'm the author of Real World Moto, and uh, this video you're watching is a uh, sample video from uh, to give you an idea of the uh, type of content that's going to be available on the book's resource site. There's going to be several videos that uh, further explain the topics that were covered in the book. And so what we're going to look at today is uh, this robot arm that's actually uh, talked about in Chapter 6 on animation. Uh, this robot arm uh, demonstration was um, was created to show uh, how to use the uh, IK capabilities and then also uh, how to use uh, different constraints such as dynamic parent and uh, directional constraints. So uh, what we have here is uh, to set up the chain uh, well here let's show it working first. You know, select the goal uh, hit the move tool and then uh, go ahead and start to move this around as you can see the um, the items are following through the IK chain and then also if you look closely here, let's zoom in a little bit um, as I move the arm in and out we've got this piston here that's expanding and, and contracting with the arm which is pretty cool so uh, the way this is kinda set up, just to run through it real quickly uh, is basically uh, with Moto you can create IK chains now, this is with Moto 401 so what I've done here is I created three locators now in order to create the IK chain you're going to need uh, three items I use locators since Moto 401 doesn't um, doesn't have bones or joints uh, I use locators instead uh, you can create uh, IK based off items so you could you know create a hierarchy of items but uh, you know just coming from my I'm um, used to joints so I just use locators as joints so uh, basically you gotta create a hierarchy of three items so as I said uh, if you look here we've got a base locator uh, we've got an arm one locator and then we've got an arm two locator those items are parented in the item list here uh, to create a hierarchy. If I double click base locator you can see it highlights all three and then what you'll be able to do is go over here to the modifiers tab and then just click uh, apply IK and that will apply a, a 2D uh, planar joint IK chain. Uh, I've already done that so it's kind of grayed out. So uh, then what it does is it also creates it'll uh, put your, um, put your uh, item IK hierarchy into uh, this folder, uh, a group or folder, and then also what it'll do is go ahead and it will uh, create another locator that's used for the goal, and then it will also use this, create this modifier here, the dual joint planar IK modifier that's attached to the locator. Um, so once you've got that, uh, you're going to have the uh, the IK working, but it will not be affecting the um, the item meshes. Uh, so if you're coming from somewhere like Maya, this is where you'd probably, you know, this is where you'd use a skin deformer or something like that. Uh, so in the case of using Moto 401, what I did was uh, I use a, a dynamic parent constraint. So for instance, uh, to link the item mesh to the locator. So for instance, I would select here like this base arm and then I would select the base locator and then I would again come over to the modifiers tab and just hit under uh, dynamic parenting, add parent. And uh, that is what I did. I parented the uh, base arm to this locator, and then I parented the upper arm to this locator. And uh, so now, that's how you get the item mesh to follow along with the IK chain. So that's that part of the rig is complete. Now to get the uh, the piston to work, a uh, little bit of extra work there, but. Uh, oh move the screen too quick. A uh, little bit extra work but uh, with Moto 401 it's actually quite simple. So uh, here to take a look at this I'm gonna hit control space to bring up a pie menu here so I can go uh, pop over to the front and I'm gonna take a look at in item selection mode I'm gonna take a look at the base piston. As you can see what I did was I went into center mode by just uh, selecting this button here centers at the top of the UI and then I placed the center at a pivot location right here where I want the um, the base of the piston to be able to rotate around. So I set that then I went to the shaft of the piston and did the same thing. I moved it center so that uh, in relationship to where it would be on the arm here I want the shaft part of the piston to be able to rotate off this point so I set up the center setting up the centers is the very important okay so once that's done using a dynamic parent I then selected uh, the shaft and the arm parented these two together selected the base of the piston and the lower arm parented those two together now what would happen is, is as the uh, IK chain is uh, moving you've got uh, you know the approach the uh, parts of the piston are now moving along with the uh, appropriate parts of the arm but to get the uh, piston to work correctly what we're gonna need to do is have each one of these items 
point at each other constantly. And uh, that's really easily done with uh, utilizing Moto's 401's new constraint system. So what we'll do is I would select the, um, the shaft of the piston and then I would shift select the base okay and then all I would do there is go up to uh, under the modifiers tab as well I would then uh, create as you can see here a directional constraint what the directional constraint does is it's um, it's basically if you use Maya it's the same thing as an orient constraint in Maya it's going to uh, have one item look at another item basically it's going to follow it um, so as you can see when you look at the shaft here there is a directional constraint to right here to the base and then under the base I have a directional constraint to the shaft so the shaft is looking at the base and the base is looking at the shaft and since everything was lined up correctly again like with uh, our pivot points were positioned exactly the way they should be when the robot arm is moving with the IK chain the piston the shaft is extending in and out of the piston which gives the effect that the piston's driving the arm okay well that's just been a sample of uh, some of the videos so if you get a chance head out to westmcdermott.com and from there you can uh, check out more content about real world moto thanks a lot hope to see you there